Dee, this tip, you've got something for us today all about um, timing and um, you've got a bit of rope to show us how it's going to work. <laughs> I so, don't know much about this one. <laughs> yeah, it's about timing, it's about sequencing. Um, oh. I didn't invent this drill, it's uh, by Dr. Kwong. It's, uh, so you need a rope that's the length of the five iron, double it and get the thickest rope you can from Bunnings. 19 uh, millimetres is a good thickness. Okay, and um, we did a tip at not that long ago on trying to hit the ball really hard and seeing what happened. I'll put a link to that. It was so interesting though, the harder you and I tried to hit the ball, the shorter it went, which shows you that your timing and your sequencing yep. all goes out when you try and hit it hard. Right. So that's the idea with this yeah, rope. So what I'm going to do is get you to have a little go mm -hmm. and you're, if you can just aim that way, so we need you doing it that way, okay. and just hold it like a golf club. Okay. And take, and you're an elite player, so you should do it pretty well. So we'll just get you to start here to get some momentum. Yep. I want you to swing back and swing through. Off okay. you go. Swing back and keep it going with a bit of force. Oh, okay. Let, let's do it. Here you go. You want Off to go, you go fast. Do well, you? I want you to go like at a normal rate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh, hurts a bit. Yep. <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Go. Go like a normal swing. Yep, very good. You're, so you're doing really well. Like a lot of people, it'll whack them really hard. Oh, okay. So what I want you to do now, just yeah. for fun. Yeah, <laughs> whack myself really fun. hard. I want you to do an over-the-top swing. Okay. So just do an, uh, uh, do, uh, I should maybe get a helmet for you. Oh, so no. get ready. Is it going to slap me that way? Is Probably. It? <laughs> She's Start. loving this, isn't she? <laughs> Start there. Okay. Swing back. And go over the and top. And go over the top. Okay. And well, you get, yeah, you got to go fast. So let me show you. I'm going to do it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cool. I wish I had a helmet right. so I know what's going to happen. So I'm going to start here. I'm swinging back and I'm going to come over the top. And I know what it does. Oh. It slaps me around the face like that oh. if you're going over the top. Okay. So where this should work, Annie, is you start here, you swing back and it should gently touch you here if you're sequencing right remember one of those you said oh it hit you a bit hard that's because most people tend to get very quick in this area yes, here yeah. that's the big transition the between big transition. the back swing and the down swing it's so important so it, it should be we swing back gently and when i come through it's not whacking me because all my club head speed is there yeah so the idea is and it helps with your body rotation your sequence um it helps with um tempo a whole lot of things a weight okay. transference it does a whole lot of great things mm -hmm. but the other trick is sorry you should actually try to let it come back somewhere over the top of this so okay. can you see me as here? if that's the ball i don't know if that's it's moving a little bit so i'm here so what so i'm going to swing back i wait for it to hit me right i wait now if i go over the top it wraps around my face okay so do it again wait Go, wait, go, wait, go. And you're trying to basically aim over the top. Yeah, of the I, I, it's going to do that, but you'll see when I'm doing this, I'm waiting, so I'm not going, I'm not starting down until I feel this mm -hmm, happen. Mm -hmm. And the first movement is you're getting the end of the rope to go. It's going to hit me here, it's going to wrap around here, then my lower body will start without me even thinking because I'm trying to get the end of the rope to work, so it transfers the weight and it'll hit me here, but it won't hit me hard. So if I start here, back. So you're giving it a nice swish there, aren't yes. you? Yes, so, but notice it's not smashing yeah, me yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you said, oh, it hurts. So you can see it does a lot of things. You can see it's getting my body to work. It's getting mm. my lower body mm. working. It the tempo whole... looks great actually, yeah. doesn't it? When do you, you want do to try that? again? Yeah, I'll try again. So I'll do it facing in this, what, this yeah. time. So start a little bit, yet. Yeah. Oh, go. Hit me in the boot. <laughs> That's bit, and have tempo down there. Have some speed. Wait. Good. So you're trying to create Wait. most speed at the down at yeah. the ball. Yeah. And if people, view, our viewers will see that Annie's not doing this with the chest. It keeps you back to the target a little it bit more. Yeah, it makes you wait a bit before you really go for it. You don't yeah. want to go for it from the top. You want to wait a bit. It's a bit like, I saw it on telly the other day, the Happy Gilmore, you know, when his coach that got eaten by the croc, one hand eaten by the yeah. crocodile. It was like, back to the target. You know, get you back to the target. There's a lot of 
fun information in that movie, go to your happy spot. Yes, yes. But this is very good, you know, like when he was playing, it's this movement here yes, that you're trying yes, to do. Yes. It works really well. Yeah, so grab yourself a rope and um, improve your timing and so you hit the ball a bit further, yeah. you'll be more consistent. Stops the over top. Stops the over the top. Because fantastic. you're going to get whip marks if you do it wrong. <laughs> so pain, no pain, no gain. So this is a new new Pro Golf Girls Wild thing. We're going to torture you to get the results. <laughs> With fun. With fun. Thanks, Tom. Bye. Bye.